driving for Minji Motorsports in 2022 and 2023 and hopefully into the future. Um, yeah, I'm in the tourism industry and uh, we're entered in the WRC this year and the Kenya Nationals and next year we're planning to do the Nationals and the ARC. Yeah, just here at the um, Rally Navigator. Uh, most of my navigation career has been with, with Rajiv uh, since I came back from Australia. Um, pretty head from Rally Mechanic. Um, that's why we started this workshop. And the aim is to get into every motorsport faculty or possible by next year. It was when I was in university in Australia. <coughs> During the days of uh, MSN Messenger, and I think it was what 2008, 2009, long time ago. Yeah, when when Raji was quite uh, Probably earlier than that. Earlier than that, yeah. So Raji was quite quite active on on Facebook and <laughs> creating rallying forums and rallying pages. And rallying is a religion. Rallying is a religion. Speed yeah. is an addiction. Yeah. Um, and I I wanted to get into rallying, and I approached with Raji on how to how to get into it. And he taught me everything how to become a rally driver, and I ended up becoming his navigator. <laughs> 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 no, but we've, we've, we've been, we've been, we're actually brothers for, for the longest time since we started rallying in 2013, I think. Yeah, I, it's been so long, I don't know what year, but yeah. It's very important that you have to click in the car, and we clicked from from the time we went for a test in Jamuri Park. Yeah, yeah. We from the clicked way. and, and um, it, yeah, we have to balance each other out and there has to be banter. Can't always be seriousness in the in the rally car. And yeah, we, we, we've had our heated moments, but we, we laugh it off. Yeah. We are over a beer at the end of the rally. Um, and that's why we're still together. Very fortunate to have that group. The relationship is very close. I mean, everybody jokes that um, driver and co-driver are closer than husband and wife. Obviously not in such <laughs> circumstances. Um, but, you know, you, you spend so much time sitting next to each other. Um, from from the preparations to the recce, you know, like especially like on a long event, you spend you're sitting a foot away from each other, talking to each other the entire time. Um, you have to be patient with each other. You have to understand each other's moods. You have to be uh, sympathetic to whatever the other person is going through at the time. And and he and I are very good at doing that with each other. And like he said, we have a lot of fun as well. So that's important. If we weren't having fun, we wouldn't still be enjoying this. It's huge. I mean, uh, you know, I come from that, uh, I call it kind of the lost generation in rallying where I was part of that generation where just when I was trying to get into rallying, we lost the WRC. Um, so the, there's like a generation above me, they got to see the WRC, they got the opportunity to be part of it. And I grew up wanting to be part of it and everything was about that. And then as soon as I got into rallying, we lost the WRC. So I was part of that generation that lost their dream, really. Um, so when it came back, I had to be part of it. I said, even if it's just a bucket list, I have to tick it off, I have to do it. As well, but we sort of just decided, I think it was three weeks to the event. Three weeks to the event, we found the car. Yeah, three weeks to the event, we said, let's do this. I went and saw Karan, he had his car sitting around. It was, it, it was a, it is a very standard car um, and they made that very clear to us but because Jasneel had the workshop and both of us know no cars we decided we'll take on the project we, we didn't know what we were getting into because the WRC has so much there, there's so many requirements um, it took us three weeks of 20 hour days every day for three weeks to get ready for that rally so it, it was a dream come true to do it it was let's let's do it and be part of it but it was also let's make sure that this isn't the last time there was a lot there was a lot we learned in the last WRC from from car prep to um, our notes and you know starting from being one of Kenya's top competitors to now starting way back in the order you know, that also takes a hit mentally um, and we both told each other that next year we are, we'll do what it takes to be up there with the big boys. And 
I think I think we've we've done yeah, it and yeah. we've achieved what we wanted to yeah. achieve. Um, and I think rallying Rajim also doing the classic and, and we really were in the classic and him and I getting back in the car in the ARC has given us a lot of confidence into going into the WRC. Uh, even the fact that we've never sat in that car before, we still have the confidence that we're going to go there and, and, and do well. Came up. This is just a phenomenal car. It's, it's part of my body. It's, I love this car. It's like a child to me. Um, it has been instrumental not just in the build-up to the WRC but in my career. Um, when I first drove this car, Rajay, Semi and I finished first in class in the East African Safari Rally and sixth overall and the only non-Porsche in, in, in the top 10 in that Safari Rally. Uh, since after that we won the Rift 1000, the inaugural one in this car. So it, it's just been a really, really good car. You know they say good Juma. This is, this is good Juma, it's special Juma um, for me. And uh, in the last few months, as you said, it's been instrumental because we went out and got the correct engine for it, finally. And we had a good result. I think we won our class in the, in the mini classic. Yeah. And then in the main classic, we were doing really well, setting good times. The end result was a broken gearbox, unfortunately. So that didn't help, but it showed that we had the pace. Um, and then the equator was just super fun. I play video games but only only car games. I play dirt and I play F1. Um, I love Formula 1 and I love rallying so those are the two games I play. I love watching Formula 1. In fact I've got just Neil interested in it again so we have a group of people that watch the Formula 1. So today's Azerbaijan so... Mercedes or T4C? Ah T4C all the way. <laughs> Red <laughs> That is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, car 34 with the Rajesh Maini and Nish Lakhani. Um They did well. They were motoring really well and um, unfortunately him, they, they, they couldn't do the last checkpoint. 100 meters before the last checkpoint, the car overheated and stopped. Um, and they, were, they tried to winch it up, but they, they ran out of time. And, but yeah, they performed really well. I mean, they just missed one checkpoint out of 13, I think, yeah. 14. Yeah. So, the group was at the end.